Hi Scrappers! Today I want to um, do a tutorial on how I make 3 by 3 envelopes. Um, these are the button closure type of envelopes. I watched several tutorials. <clears throat> I've done, done it the way those tutorials um, showed how to do it. And a lot of it didn't work for me. I was having a lot of trouble. One thing I don't like is that <clears throat> these, these little buttons are so close to the envelope when you use the eyelet to put them on that when you go when you go to put them around here, you can't get the string underneath. You have to kind of pull this up to get it under. And I and I think it looks sloppy after you do that. So I didn't like that. Another thing problem I had was my string would fall off or the um, eyelet would come out and so I was just having all kinds of trouble doing this. It just has not worked for me so I've come up with my own way. I've changed the dimensions a little bit and I'm going to show you how I do it. First of all I cut a piece of cardstock and I'm using craft cardstock for these. I'm making these envelopes to go with these little 3x3 three three cards that I um, made for what's on your desk challenge that Laurel did and so I cut this seven and a fourth by four and a quarter and you can get two of these envelopes out of an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and then I use my scoreboard and I score it at one and a fourth and again at four and a half and then I turn it and I score it half an inch from the edge so it will be three and three-fourths and then I want to score it on the other side rather than try and score it here where you don't have a lot of room to hold this down I like to rotate this all the way around and just do it from this edge it's much easier okay so once you get it scored it's going to look like this. If, I don't know if you can see my score lines in that. The next step that you want to do is you want to cut off um, the four corners. And when I cut off the four corners, instead of cutting right on the score line, I cut to the side of the score line so that I don't have any score line showing on the por envelope portion. And I don't know if you can see what I mean, but instead of score, cutting it right there, I'm going to cut right to the side. I don't know if the shadow... So I go like that, and I go just above here. So I'm going to cut out all four corners. And I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to fold all my edges in and crease them really good so that they look nice. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the bottom flap and the top flap and I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to trim all the edges and these will be on the flaps and this is just more for to make it look nicer. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to do the flaps. So you're punching eight times. Then the next thing you will do is you'll put either with your ATG gun, glue, snail, whatever you want to use, you'll put adhesive here and then you'll glue it down and this is what it looks like. Now as far as the flap goes, um, what you'll want to do is what 
what I did was punched out some 5 8 inch circles and I set an eyelet in the middle of that. So I did not attach it right to the envelope. Okay, now there's two different ways you can adhere this on. Um, on this one, I used a dimensional. And I just put the dimensional on the back like this, just a little one. And the key to this way is to use a really good dimensional that's going to stick good. A cheap one does not work because when you put this on and put the string around, the string can slide underneath if it's not stuck good. And then it, pull, it pops this off or your string gets stuck to it. So you want to make sure it's a good dimensional. And what I would do is I would take um, a piece of string or crochet thread. Sometimes I use just crochet thread I bought at my craft store. Or I also um, recycle when I buy the shipping tags. You can use the strings out of those, um, the leftover ones. I save those. So what you, you'd want to do is put a little dab of glue And glue down the string. This will keep your string from falling out. Then you want to take the dimensional once that's the string's glued. You don't have to use hot glue, you could use other glue. But once the um, glue has cooled, then you can just lay your dimensional over that and press it down really good. And then you do the same down here on this. And the trick is to leave to leave a space here that you can wrap this around. Another way that works really good is to use hot glue for it. Pretend this is glued down already. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to just put a little dab again and glue your string the same way that you did before. And after that's cooled down a little bit, I put another dab of hot glue on and I wait for just a few seconds for it to cool down a little bit. And then I'm just going to take my little circle with the eyelet punch and I'm just going to lay that on top of it. And I'm not going to really press it down very much because I want that space. And then you would take your glue gun again. Probably need a little bit more than that. You want it big enough that it's going to stand up. I know there's another product called Liquid Glue Dots that would probably work well for this. I've never used that product yet. Um, you want to let that cool. I didn't let it cool long enough before I put this on. But then once it's, it's cooled down, and I won't do this yet because it's not quite ready, but then you're ready to, to wrap the string around. So. That's the new way that I came up with to put these on. Works out better for me. Hope this helps somebody. Um, I'm going to put up another video on how I make um, envelopes out of copy paper. Just a white envelope. Um, it's a little bit different. So I didn't have enough time in this video to do the whole thing. So stay tuned for that one if you're interested. And I hope this helps. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.